Hello everyone and welcome to another Timeless video. So today we're going to be taking a look at Dredgeless Dredge in Timeless format. Now if you're familiar with this deck, if you're coming from Historic, you will be pleasantly surprised that Dredge is actually a viable deck that can be played in best of 1. I don't know about best of 3, I did put up a sideboard together, but you do have to splash some red and green if you're going to be playing this in best of 3, but generally I don't really recommend it just because it's a pretty linear deck that can be stopped very very easily. So the the reason to play Dredge in Timeless compared to Historic, actually the consistency of this deck has gone up pretty significantly. And that is all thanks to this one card called the Brainstorm. We're going to be playing four copies of Brainstorm in this deck with four copies of Otherworldly Gaze. So with these cards together, we're actually only running 16 lands in the deck. And because we're also going to be running fetches as well, as soon as you get like two or three lands, you're also kind of thinning your deck every time you fetch with your fetch lands as well and then you're also brainstorming putting lands on top and then getting rid of it like milling so two of these cards together the deck actually doesn't need to run that many lands which means when you do eventually play something like stitcher supplier glimpse the unthinkable founding the third path there is a better chance to mill the right cards in timeless compared to historic by a fair margin i would say and because we can also go down on some lands as well we're also going to be trying out two copies of bitter triumph which is a new card from ixalan that can let you discard a card to get rid of a creature or a planeswalker but let's say you ran out of cards you're saving the cards for something else such as haunted dead then you can also pay three life to remove something from your opponent's side Another application to Brainstorm would be, let's say if these cards such as Prize of Mulgum, Soul Room of Ghoul, or Blood Gas are stuck in your hand, now you have the option of Brainstorming, put it onto the top of your deck, and then use something like Otherworldly Gaze or mill it using things like Stitcher Supplier, which would be considerably better compared to just discarding them. Let's say like Creeping Chill is in your hand, discarding Creeping Chill doesn't do anything, but with Brainstorm, you could put it on top and then mill it to get something like Silver Remote Ghoul onto the battlefield. So having said that, we're going to be jumping into some timeless best of one to show you guys how that deck does. So let's hop on over. Hmm, is this good? Brainstorm, turn one. Maybe it's actually not that bad. We'll brainstorm turn one. Yeah, let's do that. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? This is why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have nice things. It really do be that way. Okay, we have a chance. They get rid of that instead of the other one. That's actually really, really good. But I don't want to take damage, so I'm playing the Stitcher Supplier. Okay, so we would need... Another uh, island on the battlefield. Come on. Okay, Narcomiba. This actually might be a pretty nice deck against them. Unironically. Uh, we actually played a swamp, so we we can't actually brainstorm. Um, I guess we can go founding the third path into brainstorm here. Getting the ga uh, Amalgam out is going to be the priority here. Right?
Maybe we can actually do both. Yeah, maybe we can do both because we got a uh, other early gaze. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Think I am going to shock myself here? Um, bit of a hard game, bit of a hard game. Um, I think I need to brainstorm gaze. Okay. You draw a card. Is this a counter spell? Sure seems like it. We need to gain some life, right? Ooh, that's actually nice. Okay, I think we got this. This many Narcomiba, I think we got this. We're gonna draw a card. And then we're going to Glimpse. I have a feeling they have a counter spell. Maybe they don't, and we just win. Get out of here, blue white scam player. You know, we actually could have lost if they um didn't get rid of the ley line of the void. Alright. That's a lot of brainstorms. We are going second against the um, polluted delta. The mirror maybe. Um Again, it could be Grixis, so... I think I'm just going to brainstorm now. Before... They can Orcish Bowmaster. We're gonna be shuffling these away though. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll shuffle one of the Narcomivas away. Okay, Island. Oh, come on. Really? Okay, we gotta go fast. <laughs> we gotta go fast. Come on, let's go. Boop. And boop. Okay, not bad. Maybe I should have actually grabbed, um... Which one did I use, actually? Did I- did I have this? Okay, a braid. That's fine. Um... I do believe we have a swamp. Like, I didn't... Like, did I just miss it?
Okay, this is insane, by the way. Look, 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 look. Brainstorm. Put. Amalgam. And a blood ghast. Actually, let's just put pool there. Founding. We're gonna go straight to... Number two. Mill. Insane. Actually insane. We're also Blood Moon protected. I I feel like if a deck plays Cleansing Wildfire, that's... That's definitely a Blood Moon deck. Boop. Now every... Now all the creatures are also flying as well. I mean, that's just game over, isn't it? Before you say, why didn't you play the land first for them to get haste? They were not below 10, so the blood gas wouldn't have had haste, right? Yep. Your go, opponent. Would you like to, um. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this hand. And actually looks pretty insane. Kind of depends on what this is, though. I'm gonna run out Stitcher. What is this? It's, it's a Stifle, right? It's a Stifle. That's one of the reasons why I actually played Stitcher Supplier, because I didn't want to go, like, Polluted Delta. I'm kind of hoping they uh, stifle this. Yeah, they 100% has stifle. There's no way they don't have a stifle. Yeah, there's no way they don't have a stifle. Okay. Do I want to brainstorm? Hmm. I think I'm just going to gaze actually. Okay, another glimpse. Okay, nice. Nice! What did I hit, actually? Hit a Creeping Chill and a Narcomiba. And we have a Silver Mogul that would get the Prize Mogul out. Actually, two of them. Wow. Okay, side me up. Hey, not bad, not bad, not bad. Then we get the glimpse. Um, could be Delver. Could definitely be Delver. Watery Grave. Okay, let's uh glimpse. Oh my god, we won. <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about? when the deck just kind of just wins. You know? Like, look, opponent set 12, what are they gonna do? Like, are, are, are you gonna play Death Shadow? Well, I have million blockers, so. Put an upkeep stop. I mean, it's not over yet, right? 
It, because this can clearly be a death shadow deck, right? Okay, they look at the top of my deck. I am going to gaze here. We definitely don't want a brainstorm. Let me tell you that. I had to play the land, right? Oh, you're gonna block. Okay, nice. We also got a Haunted Dead, which is very nice. So I'm actually not gonna put an upkeep stop because... Oh my god. Okay, opponent, calm down. Legion's End, main deck, what's up with that? Legion's End, main deck, what's up with that? Mm, okay, I'll, I'll, you force my hand, I'll, I'll have to gaze here. I'll have to gaze. What's up with that, man? Wonder? That's fine. I cannot believe I just got legions ended. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Legions end. You cannot be serious. So how many... I still have three prize amalgams. I think I'm just going to haunt the dead. Yeah, I think I'm just going to haunt the dead. Actually, they're looking at my haunted dead. I'm gonna put an upkeep stop. If they grab my haunted dead, like they have a graveyard hate. Okay, they don't. We're gonna draw a card. Unfortunate, there's another narco amoeba. Okay, so what is this? Wow, they actually have a cling to dust as well. Opponent. What are you? Who hurt you? Actually, a deck. Just to beat our deck. Ooh, founding. Wow, that's actually like everything is kind of great. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to play this. I mean, I, I can play it. It's just like I can't use it. Edict. That's really interesting they did that. Let's get rid of a narco amiibo. Because I, I could have also sacrificed a stitcher supplier to get the gaze in the graveyard so that I can actually fetch this card. Okay, so that's exactly so they did it anyway, so it didn't really matter. But we got a gaze in the graveyard, which is nice. Oh no, we don't have a land. We milled all the land. There's only four lands in the graveyard. This is becoming a lot more difficult. <laughs> oh my god, we're actually gonna lose to a... Uh... Main deck, cling to dust, and legions end. Oh my god. 
We still haven't seen a single prize amalgam. What a tough game. I should have looked. So they decide to do that. Instead of getting the Loris back. Oh my god. Tell me a better card. Okay, never mind. Very unfortunate. They could have just straight up lost there, right? Sauron's Ransom. Man. I have to do it like that. Hmm, what a difficult game. They also have Ottawara activation. Oh man. We act I think we actually lost this one. The uh The Legion's End actually ended me. Crazy. Actually crazy. I can't believe we're gonna lose this. Thing is, we can't even cast a uh, creeping chill because we don't actually have a land to fetch with the flooded strand. So it has to be okay. Glimpse the unthinkable does it. Glimpse the unthinkable does it. Top deck glimpse or founding the third path. There's two cards that does it. Even Stitcher Supplier might be good. There's a lot, actually. Oh my god. Okay, well, part of the card. Prize Amalgam. That doesn't quite do it. I'm not gonna lie. A blood gas would have done it too. Because it would have um forced the Ottawara on the on the Stitcher Supplier or the Blood Ghast. Okay. Here's the thing. We're gonna get Glimpse the Unthinkable Mill Double Creeping Chill. Easy. Right? Easy? Okay, let's see it. That doesn't do it. Ah, what a game. Okay, very nice. Deathrite Shaman instantly. Okay. Actually going to grab a land. Play the Stitcher Supplier. The thing is, like, Deathrite Shaman's not gonna be able to, like, eat cards this early, right? Like, it's just not gonna be possible. The Thought Seize was actually insane, though. That was actually a game winning Thought Seize.
That was actually a game winning Thoughtseize there. Um, I think I'm just going to brainstorm. I feel like if they use an Orcish Bowmaster here, I think I'm okay with it. Okay. Boom, boom. And we're going to stitch your supplier. They only left up a forest, so they can only eat a creature here. Brainstorm. I mean, like, being taxed, like, one every single turn because they're playing against our deck might actually get us there, you know? Ooh, tap land. That's pretty bad. Almost forgot to put a stop there. So we're gonna go with Gaze first. Another founding? Is that good? I don't think it is. Maybe we just take another Stitcher. Um... Okay, they don't have a Black Source. So we're gonna attack. Might not even block. Oh, they're blocking the Stitcher Supplier. Good for me. Let's play the Founding. Um, I think let's just go to the second chapter. Okay. I mean, it is pretty annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Because we're, we're, we're not getting, like, multiple creatures per turn. It is kind of annoying. Yeah. It is a bit annoying. Usually you want to see, like, multiple creatures per turn. Should I draw a card? Or gaze? Because even if we don't gaze, we can actually technically play the Stitcher Supplier. But it, uh, this is probably a little bit better. I just want to put some pressure against this Deathrite Shaman. This, 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 because this Deathrite Shaman is actually pretty annoying. It's actually pretty annoying. Island, Island, Forest. So they have one Black Source. Okay, prize amalgam, that's a card. Man, nothing's working out. This death right shaman's actually keep keeping me in check. Okay, so let's otherworldly gaze. Narcomiba, Narcomiba, Glimpse. Well, they can't actually stop two of them. This is their worst nightmare. Then 
we're gonna attack with both of them. Wow, they took damage. They took damage. Now we can also get a creeping chill. <clears throat> That's fine. Okay, Uro. They have one land. I think it should be over. I'm doing it now so I can... I guess it doesn't really matter. Nice! Okay, perfect. Okay, polluted delta. Into a shambling ghast. And a mistress bauble. This is probably, um... Necropotent's, um... One ring combo deck, something like that. Okay, so I'll just go Stitcher Supplier. Okay, that was the worst I've ever seen. Truly was the worst mill I've ever seen. If they're doing this, they have to be like trying to like can can they actually win here? Oh, it's just a weather the storm. Really? I feel like that's a little bit a little bit of a wasted opportunity. Okay, since I have brainstorm um, hmm, that's actually interesting. I actually have to play this first and then brainstorm. Wow, we actually did not get... Hmm. Yeah, brainstorming this deck is a little bit weird. Because you actually want them in the graveyard. A okay, second card milled. Second glimpse the unthinkable milled. I might actually brainstorm. Hmm, what should I do? I mean, I'm gonna definitely block for sure. Because I could mill something insane. So here's the deal. Do they have Orcish Bowmaster? Or does it really matter if they have it? Well, considering I actually have... Double Brainstorm, maybe this is okay. I need them to tap out, right? Currently, they're not... ...making this easy. Another Stitcher Supplier? Sure. We'll pass like this. Okay, so there's the Orcish Bowmaster. Now we brainstorm. Okay, so we want these in the graveyard. 
So we put it like that. And then we gaze. Village rights to draw some cards. Maybe we should play even Orcish Bowmaster in this. Is it even possible, actually? Not sure. We're gonna gaze. Boop, boop. Oh my god. There we go, finally. Let's see some juicy glimpse the unthinkable. Doesn't matter if I attack or... Okay, let's say... It's better to do glimpse... After... If they kill the prize amalgam. Okay, let's attack first. Attack all. Will my opponent take it? Wow, they actually take it. Okay. And we're going to glimpse. Hoping. Okay, we get a lot of narco amoebas. I was actually hoping for some creeping chills. But this is also okay. These are really weak weather the storms. You know? Okay, there's a bolus of citadel. They let go of village rights. They find a swamp. We need them to brick. That is not bricking. That is not a brick. Because now they can go dark ritual into... more cards. I guess they actually need double dark ritual. Yeah, this was a really slow start. Definitely a pretty slow start here. Yeah, I think they got it. If this is a... If they demonic tutor for a dark ritual, I think they got it. Yeah, there's that dark ritual. Into Orcish Bowmaster. We're probably dead. They need they need ten storm. Actually, they they just need nine storm. Yeah, they got it. They got it. I think they got it. This is nine. Yep, yeah, we're exactly dead. Yeah, that's why I was looking for like a one copy of Creeping Chill, but we just didn't get the Creeping Chill in our top forty. Hmm. That is pretty interesting, actually. Since I'm going first, I'm gonna play Island and Pass. Mountain. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brainstorm on my turn. And then gaze. So we're gonna brainstorm. That's a lot of blends, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kinda worried. 
Oh wow, that's actually so insane. Okay, also, they have a Kumano, which is a bit of a problem, I'm not gonna lie. That's a bit of a problem. Kumano, a bit of a problem, I'm not gonna lie. Ditcher, okay, we do have a bitter triumph, okay. Ah, uh, we can't, we can't keep the Bitter Triumph because I, I need to draw the Stitcher, right? Yeah, we do have a bit of a situation. Opponent has a Kumano. Alert. They do have a Kumano. This kinda sucks. Yeah, this kinda sucks, doesn't it? If a creature dealt damage this turn by a source you controlled would die, exile it instead. Yeah, this really sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I don't think we can actually beat this unless we have... We exactly draw into a... Glimpse the Unthinkable here. We have to draw into a Glimpse the Unthinkable. Okay, could have been worse. A creeping choke. Definitely the card that I was looking for. The problem is we 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 flooded to death. Kinda flooded, I'm not gonna lie. It's not a good feeling either. It's definitely not a good feeling. These stitchers are so useless against their Kumano man. Maybe they don't have anything, right? Maybe they don't have anything. I'm just kind of hoping that's the case. Yeah, we don't like to see that. We also don't like to see the fact that they bottomed a lightning bolt. <laughs> Wait, what? Where'd you go? Okay, that's what you call a paid actor. Wait, were they dead? Let me see here. Four blockers. Block, 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 uh, block. They would have taken the four. They are still alive. Opponent. Well, well, well. Where have I seen this before? Hmm. Brainstorm. I could do Brainstorm into a Brainstorm Stitcher Supplier. Hall of the Storm Giant. Okay, I'm gonna Brainstorm on their turn. Um, sure. The reason to do this is I kind of want them to tap out since considering that I have a um, second brainstorm. I want them to actually counter my brainstorm, right? So I'm going to be casting this brainstorm on their turn. There we go. Oh my god, that's a lot of lands. Um, hmm, what should I do? That's a lot of lands. Okay, that's a little bit concerning. Why am I a landlord? Another blue.
We'll brainstorm here yet again. I just realized that this actually shuffles it away. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's not a bad mill. Okay, that's that's called a bit of an inexperience with the deck. Breeding pool. Okay, come on, deck. We play sixteen lands. We play sixteen lands. Like, you can't you can't be serious. You cannot be serious right now. We've drawn we've we've drawn 15 cards and we went through 8 lands. 8 Frickin' lands. Insane. Actually insane. I'm kind of guessing like this is like a memory lapse or something. Okay, interesting. Oh, nice. Do we got a prize amalgam, creeping chill, um, zero silver milk ghoul, I guess. I let me see. Um, I think. So we have Island, Island Swamp. So we this doesn't do anything anymore, so... Nice. We're just going to send it. It's a pretty insane amount of creatures. Just like that. I also don't care about this Uro. The fairy! In this economy? You know what? I'm not Hello? We drew another land. Okay, opponent surrenders. Alright, so we went 7 and 4 with the stack. Um, as you can see here, I did get a bit unlucky at the start. Um, we weren't actually able to get out some, some of our early creatures in some of the early games that I played. Um, eventually, the luck did turn around and we were able to win a bunch of games out of that. I will say though, this deck is not going to be very good against the Yagmoth deck that I featured last time. But in most scenarios, um, it should be pretty good against a lot of the different things going on at the moment. Surprisingly, it's pretty good against Blue Eye Scam as well. But the unfortunate part is that they play four copies of the Leyline of the Void. So if they're lucky enough to start with this card, plus Fragment Reality, and another ley line on top of that. Well, you're not gonna be able to win that one, but it is what it is. Um, I just I'm just so sick of that deck. 
creating so many non-games. So we lost to a blue-white scam player there, who started with double Leyline, and one of them happens to be Leyline of the Void. And they also had a Fragment Reality. And we lost to a Yagmoth deck. And we also lost to a deck that main boarded. Main boarded. Legion's End. To get rid of our Bloodgast to stop our aggression. And then they also had some Graveyard Hate as well in the main deck. They also had a Cling to Dust. So that was a bit of a tough game. So I mean that's not bad. Like we lost to a Yagmoth deck. We lost to a blue eye scam deck that high rolled. We lost to a deck with um, some main board hate against our deck, like Legion's End and stuff like that. Like besides that, we we won most of the games. I think that's pretty good. So let's talk about the improvements coming from Historic. So the obvious improvement is the fact that we're running Brainstorm, which means we can go down to 16 lands. Which is kind of insane if you ask me. So we're operating with 16 lands and with fetch lands. So if you started with some fetch lands and then you crack them and then get some water graves or some basic lands to prevent blood moon, that also kind of minimizes the chance of you drawing more lands in the future. And that also actually makes a Glimpse the Unthinkable a lot better because now you don't have as many lands in the deck for the Glimpse the Unthinkable. The consistency has gone up considerably. I decided to play the Bitter Triumph instead of the Sorcery Spell one. Um, as you can see here, we do have uh, Bone Shards in Magic Arena. You could play this. You could definitely play this. Um, in fact, it might actually be better to play Bone Shards instead of the Bitter Triumph since we are running a pretty low land count deck and that two mana is probably better spent um, casting Glimpse the Unthinkable. Founding the third path or the flashback cost of the other early gaze, right? Um, as for the sideboard, things to touch up on. Um, if you're going to be playing this in best of three, um, you do want to be able to play the Ancient Grudge. So obviously you want to splash um, the shock lands that can produce a green green mana or red mana. But let's say you get Leyline of the Voided, then you can play a Stern Dismissal. If this is not to your liking, there's also an enchantment removal. Like you could play Feed the Swarm, which I don't really recommend it. You could also like have some back to natures to be able to cast. Since uh, you're also going to be splashing some green anyways for the Ancient Grudge. So that's also an option. And we have three copies of Dotsies. The cards that you really want to worry about is like Blood Moon and Divine Purge, and we have a Pitting Needle for a Yagamoth matchup, but that matchup is just so atrociously bad that I don't think you can actually beat that deck, but we have one for now. Um, I just, I decided not to go up on Pitting Needle because you're probably going to lose that matchup anyways, right? So if you meet a Yagamoth deck, like, what can you do? And uh, four copies of Leyland of the Void for your graveyard hate, since uh, we don't really care about drawing Leyland of the Void, since we can just brainstorm, put it on top, mill it, or discard it with Haunted Dead, right? So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. And as always, if you did, leave a like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.